Welcome back to EKG. This is Ejax. And this is Cloudy. And we're back here playing The Witcher. Picking out our outfit, looking dope as fuck. I like the one on the right. I don't know. Because I like They're not like really much different. Oh, well, oh, I like oh, wait, the this pattern. One's, this one's got some badass like embroidering on it. Well, I was saying the one on the far right. Oh, that looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the one, the, the slight. I like that. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, buddy. Looking fresh as fuck. Pick it. Pick it up. There we go. Oh, no, I gotta put it on myself. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, women bathe you and a guy shave you, but I have to get myself dressed? Right? This is bullshit. Actually, it reminds me of a quote where it's like, it's like, everything you need to know about life is like, when you're about to have sex with someone, you help take each other's clothes off, and but after say, you've, like, had sex, you put your own clothes back on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never seen something like that. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, it's true. But... And then again, it'd be weird, like, here's your sock, here's your sock, <laughs> right. give me the pants leg, give me the leg, give me the leg. Powder my nose. Powder my nose. We about to do some blow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy just looks creepy. Gentleman's complexion is light enough. Like, is he just- Oh my god, throwing shade! <laughs> it's light enough. <laughs> Fucking, he's like, right? maybe a tan will do. <laughs> you know, some color, maybe. <laughs> Maybe you could go outside there, Casper. A fucking bunch of dudes jumping I'm behind him. He's like, oh, oh, <laughs> right. Please, this dude's burning me. He's freaking wrinkly McGee. That definitely rhymed. <laughs> this dude's burning me. <laughs> Rimpley. <laughs> oh, <rimpoly. laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Joke's over. <laughs> Ruined it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Leg Too much extracted. sauce? Eh. Is this dude really showing me how to Head bow down. right now? Chin to chest. Gentlemen, will we hurt? His pants are fucking on fleek. Oh no, I already forgot it. Wait, left leg forward, right hand on chest. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect wow. less of Nordlings. Oh Come God, this, this guy dude is just throwing <laughs> so much shade right now. Fucking pull out your sword, kill him. Fuck right? this guy. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure if I do, I will be slaughtered by <laughs> this entire village. Only when asked to. Well, and this is a big ass castle, so I'm assuming this is a pretty big place. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. This guy's a douchebag. See, people like this always bug me. The people like. I know it's a video game character, but I'm saying, like, the character, like, there's people like that in real life. Oh, who, yeah. like, get a position of power and assume that they're, like, untouchable. It's like, dude, no, our character could literally, like, kill you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Immediately. Yeah. And you're sitting here like, mm, fucking good. Do you even know how to bow? Oh, you're pale enough. Bow. <laughs> I would have uh, not bowed. Whatever. I'm your bitch. It's, I, don't, I don't even know who this dude is. Looks like an asshole. Yeah, he definitely Your does. Imperial Majesty. God, even sounds like an asshole. Fuck this guy. I wonder, I wonder what that language is. Because uh, I, I, cause I, I know the... Because I know some people who read the Richer books, and I... The richer, I, the richer books, the Witcher books, no and I don't really know like just how in depth they are. Like they I don't know if they're like the Tolkien life. level, where yeah, like, it was like their own languages and shit like that. God, those movies, mm. right? Mm. Okay, here's a question for you: Are you on the you bandwagon of people who think the Hobbit days. trilogy so, is better than sorry, the man. original trilogy? Dear God, no! <laughs> Thank but God, the third like, Hobbit movie is not close. even good. It's it's not good. It's entertaining. It's not good. It's entertaining. It's but see for me, I like I need more. It's like it's basically Transformers with Lord of the Rings characters yeah, and slightly honestly, better acting. Honestly though, better acting like Lord of the Rings characters well, in a Transformer well, dude, movie. First off, leave it to Peter Jackson to try to get as much money as money as get money as money. Get as much money as he can out of that shit. Like, oh the yeah, Hobbit could have been made in two movies, two movies, and it would have been a really clean and tight, yeah. entertaining story. Mm -hmm. Have Smog be the main thing going on. Like, you could have even had that stupid. Spl Actually, no, I would have just kept Smog for the second movie. Yeah, exactly. Smog in the battle in the second movie, and getting and not die right away in the beginning. Yeah, right. 
God, that was such a cock tease. They use smog to bring people in, and then he dies oh, fucking right? like ten minutes in. That was that that scene was badass though. Well, yeah, but it would have been. Imagine if you not enough, not the, enough to carry the entire movie though. Yeah, can you imagine the I am fire, I. Yeah, like that, and then that scene. Yeah, exactly. is one continuous thing would have been fucking amazing, right? Because that makes that line instead of being a cliffhanger, it makes it like an iconic line. Exactly. You know, like that line doesn't need to be. That would have been like, imagine if they would have split the Dark Knight Rises into two parts. It would have been like, oh, let's not stand on ceremony here, <laughs> Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Credits. <laughs> right. How fucked up would that have been? Right. Then you start the movie with this back break, and you're like, wait, what? What? There's no like, cl there's no build up. It's just like when you start with climax, it, there's no build up, and you're yeah, like, what the? Exactly. What the fuck? <laughs> no, yeah, and. Freaking, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I know some people who weren't, uh, or like they actually enjoyed this, but like, I, I think it was the first Hobbit, whatever the that dude's head was just clipping through his hat. Where? It just, like, he, oh, this yeah, guy, yeah. he's like, his like hand was by his head, and oh, hello, <laughs> anyway. But whatever Hobbit it is that has, uh, the scene with the trolls and they're like just doing chores and like singing like a weird ass song. Yeah. Yeah. Like all like all of that could have just been cut out. And like so many scenes in those movies could have been cut out. Oh, the whole like, first movie basically could have been condensed into like thirty five minutes. Oh yeah. But they stretched it out. So literally the first Hobbit movie, it's like a story of nothing. Um and I think honestly, my favorite Lord of the Rings movie is the first one. Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah. I, um... And it's... For me, it's... It's got the most character and the most character, like... It feels the most personal. All the other ones, it starts to get big, and I do love, uh... Two Towers. Two Towers is right. great. Yeah, it's it's really close between Two Towers. Because Return of the King gets a little... A little... Like, it's not it's not bad. It's great, obviously. Yeah. Well, they, they just had to fit so much. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with it. Like, it couldn't be... And, like, even the extended version, it still feels like... Yep. It, like, hits a climax, like, three hours in, and then for, like, an hour straight, it's just climax. Yeah. And then you get, like, 17 endings, and then you get your closure. It's like, holy shit. But Fellowship of the Ring has my favorite scene of any movie ever. Which one? Boromir's death scene. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. Because he's such a good... Boromir is just... Uh, he's just a, such a great character. Exactly. And that death, like, he gets shot with an arrow, and you're like, oh, shit, he's going down. And he's like, no, bitches. And he starts taking out orcs. Were those orcs or Urkai? Urkai. 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 And the one big Urkai is just like, yeah, and he's yeah, shooting him with arrows, and it's like, oh, my God. And he gets shot, like, how many times? And, like... I think three or four. And the best is when Aragorn comes up, and you know about the little, like... Behind the scene thing, where like the guy accidentally actually threw a knife at um, yeah, 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 and that block he does yep. saved his life. Yep, he actually had to block the knife, and he did. <laughs> right, <laughs> not even badass. But after that, when Aragorn runs up the Boromir, there's like a mound of Urukai around Boromir. It's just like, damn, he went down a swinging. Exactly. Oh, it's so and, like, badass, dude. Like, I like literally like. Nine out of t or eight out of ten people who like watch that movie, they're like, I'm, uh, I'm so glad Boromir died. Like he was a dick. He was just trying to steal the ring. It's like no, because then like especially in the later movies, they explain why. It's like yeah, exactly. First off, he's man. He's like the only normal human. Yep. So he, his heart is the most easily corrupted, and then like his kingdom is falling apart. He has to sit at the like at, at the front doorstep of Mount Doom. <laughs> right? Like and they like get back their city and like they're trying to just like stay alive and like protect his people. So it's like that's his motivation. Yeah. Exactly. And then you get that great line where it's like my friend, my brother. Yep. My oh, king. dude, such feels. Oh. Such feels. And they give him they put they give him his horn. And they send him on the ball. Like, oh my yeah. god, my heart. Ah, oh, dude. I'm literally voices. like getting feels right now thinking about it. <laughs> oh my god. And Legolas and Gimli were still characters in that movie, and they weren't just exposition slash comedy duo. Right. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the relationship. And like, but Gimli used to be like a character, and then he just becomes like, oh, Gimli. Like, this becomes like a fucking joke the whole time. Like, yeah. Yeah. Some of his one-liners are great. Like, oh yeah. The fucking one. You have to toss me. You have to toss me. I cannot jump the distance. You have to toss me. Don't tell the elf. 
Twas meant for sprinting. <laughs> sure, she'll be uh, delighted to see me. Yeah, give someone get me a box. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Like they're I funny, but it's oh, still yeah. like. It was, a magic it's like, it was great when he was a character, like, it, when you go into Moria and he has that scene where you, uh, oh my god, that breaks- Speaking of Morpheals. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and you find out that the guy that Bilbo talks to at the end of The Hobbit, the third one, the oldest dwarf, I can't yeah, remember his name. Yeah, yep, yep. That, that's, uh, Gimli's, um... Like, uncle, right? Yeah. He is the one who's dead in Moria. That's his yep. grave. Yep. When I found that out, I was like, my heart literally exploded. It's I like, know, right? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, why don't I teleport you? Yeah, ugly girl sobbing. Yeah, like, like Gimli was like happen. hands down one of my favorite characters. As soon as I can get changed. Yeah. Your I like the hot, especially oh, in the books too. The, the books really they did way better at obviously of character Think development so? with him. They did do a great job with Cassie. Though. Oh, hands down, it was almost perfect. Like, like and I do love Orlando Bloom as Legolas, even though I hate him in The Hobbit because he become he's like he's super OP man because you know he's gonna live through everything. Yeah, exactly. And that scene where he like runs up the falling bricks, it's like come the fuck on! Right? He's not Superman. Let's calm down with that shit. Uh oh. Oh hey baby. I should be waiting. Dude, I want my beard back. This is some bullshit. I look like a freaking child now. Well. <laughs> now that I like, that's her name, Triss. <laughs> was that last episode we were? Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> One episode <laughs> later, we oh, remembered what? the name. She yep. just went through a fucking portal. Casual. All right. Well. Fucking. <laughs> it's locked. What am I locked in here? How do I go out here? Probably out the, the wide open door. Time. This one. Nice. Oh Kill him! Sir. This douchebag again. Oh, he's like my things. squire, I think. What the fuck's a squire? Basically, like a servant Citrus or like a maid. <laughs> you my the bitch, bitch. The gentleman's robes fresh, somewhat longer. Mm. God, this dude just throws like. The emperor is not known. What's bitch. like passive aggressive like shade at, like every as opportunity. Soon as possible. Yeah. It's like here, here's some story. awesome cologne, so just in long. case you know, because you smell after a while, you know. <laughs> right, what a fucker! Dick. What the hell was that? What? Yeah, I was gonna be like, it's like, <laughs> bam. like fucking. I was like, what? It's like a dragon here or something? That was epic music. Is this Skyrim now? People want us to play that game. I would totally be down with playing Sky. Oh shit! No, no, no! Would that really fit our format? Um. If we're doing this and <laughs> Fallout, then yeah, because <laughs> it's basically Fallout, but um, in like a universe that's more like Lord of the Rings and Witcher and shit like that. Okay, but there's like a storyline you can follow. Oh god, yeah, the storyline in Skyrim is fucking amazing. Because that's the thing about like what we do. It's like we would love to like focus a lot on the side quests, and we do like with Fallout and stuff. I know that, but like we have to make progress because. That's kind of the nature of what we do. No one's gonna want to watch episode 200 of The Witcher still <laughs> fucking around. <laughs> like, because, like, I don't know. I feel like we gotta make progress and we gotta complete series so we can start new things. Like, how excited I am for your third game. What the hell? Oh yeah, motherfucking Buck Bumble. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Hashtag you, spoilers. Uh, right. I was gonna say, are we telling them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. The sooner they can know that we're going to be bumping to the base, bumping <laughs> to the fuck bumble, the better. <laughs> if I knew what was going on. Oh, there we go. All right. Figured it out. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Um, Fast travel. You are already, I'm already in the here. His location. Wait. What? What are you supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to get through this door. Fast travel. World map. Quest available. But it won't let me... I just want to get out of here. Let well, me maybe out. Go to that room where the quest is available. I, I have to go through this door. But I can't get through the door. <laughs> Wait, what's this dude want? He's like, hmm, come here, sir. Hail, Kerzer. Long live the emperor. No. Yeah, fuck you. All right. We'll figure out what we're supposed to be doing <laughs> next time. Yeah. So join us as we, again, show our amazing gaming skill. <laughs> Something 
Clever send up. I don't fucking know. Bye. God, we're good at this game. <laughs> did did we even do anything? No. Do anything besides <laughs> nope. go to court?